In this video, we want to offer you a guide to enroll at Ruhr Universität Bochum. The enrollment takes place online. PhD students can enroll at any time, regardless of the deadlines. After the enrollment, all students have to pay the so-called social contribution fee. In principle, the full social contribution is incurred regardless of the time of enrollment. However, prorated transport ticket costs may be reimbursed by ASTA if applicable. Now let's have a look at the online enrollment. First of all, you can choose the language for the following forms. We will choose English for this demonstration. The first question is are you currently a student at the Ruhr Universität Bochum and would like to apply for a change of or in addition to your degree course? Please choose no, as you want to enroll for a new purpose of study. For the second question, you want to register as a guest student without possibility to receive any certificates of performance? Please choose no as well. The term guest student may irritate you. In this case, it means to apply for taking classes without seeking a degree. The next step is to choose your subject. Please choose PhD, Standard Period of Study, if your field of study is amongst those four. Otherwise, please choose PhD, Degree Required, and choose your subject from the list. It may not be the exact same wording as from your department. In this case, please choose the closest option. For the university entrance qualification, please choose Sonstiger Erwerb der HZB im Ausland, Allgemeine Hochschulreife, for the type of university entrance qualification. Next, please select your country and enter the grade as well as the date of the qualification. Have you ever been enrolled at a university, German or foreign? Please choose yes. Are you currently a student at a German university and thus would like to apply for visiting student status, Zweithörer, at Ruhr Universität Bochum? Please choose no. Again, the visiting student term might be confusing, but in this case it means you are an enrolled student at a German university and want to study in the same or a different course of studies at Ruhr Universität Bochum as well. So this does not apply to you. Continue. Have you studied at Ruhr Universität Bochum before? Please choose no, unless you have previously been enrolled here and have a student number. Next, you are asked to provide information on your university career. Please choose the country of the university and provide the enrollment semester and year. Have you been enrolled at a university during the semester directly before? Please select an answer. Have you been studying in Germany before? Please enter the amount of university semesters here. If you did not, please type in zero. Same goes for courses at a Studienkolleg. Have you completed part of your studies at a university in another country? Please choose no. Do you already hold a university degree? Please choose yes. Have you already irrevocably failed one or several modal or final examinations at a German university for the subject you would like to apply for? Please choose no. Now you are asked to specify your last university degrees. With university degrees obtained outside Germany, please select Abschlussprüfung im Ausland as your degree and sonstige Fächer as your first study subject. The next step is entering your personal data. For nationality, you will have to choose Germany for the enrollment process to continue. Unfortunately, this is a system side error. You can add your nationality as a second nationality though, if you want to. For the postal address, please enter your current address in Germany, as well as a phone number and email address. For the second address, Please choose no. The next part is about your health insurance. In Germany, everyone is obliged to have a health insurance. 
If you have a private health insurance, for example through your scholarship or an EU health insurance card, you can choose yes. Otherwise, you are subjected to compulsory health insurance and choose no. Please fill in the information on your insurance provider. Please tick the box for the final declaration after you've read it. You will then have the chance to check everything you've entered and correct it if necessary. And send. After sending the online enrollment, you will receive an email with an enrollment number and a link to a portal where all necessary documents must then be uploaded. The so-called Kontrollblatt provides an overview over the given data as well as your enrollment number. Please click the link and open the Infoportal Immatrikulation. Please log in with your enrollment number and your date of birth. This is where you are now asked to upload your documents. These documents include High school degree the degree that allowed you to study at a university, your passport or ID, a passport photo, a confirmation of health insurance. If you were enrolled in a German university before, you need a confirmation of deregistration from that university, your master's degree in a certified German translation, however, usually also English translations are accepted an official confirmation that you have been accepted as a PhD student in your faculty. You will receive this document from the deanery of your faculty. You can now send the documents and your enrollment application. All done. If you have any further questions, please reach out via welcome-center at uv.rub.de.